You, you, you're now tuned in to the Chronicles Podcast, hosted by the homie, Cuzzo. You, you, you busy. We back. What's happening? What's up? Docious says that he's listened to mixtapes in his life, everybody. I'm trying to get clarification on this. I just, you just got clarification. I told you I had. Who is your favorite rapper besides... I don't have a favorite hold rapper. Hold on, hold on. Who's your favorite new newer rapper? I don't have one. You don't have one. So you don't listen to the new cats? Because they sound like trash to me. Name so you, somebody new. Maybe I'm wrong. I'm Okay, so Lloyd Banks. No. I, was, I was listening. Hold on. I was listening to a new, a new Lloyd Banks because he just put out a new mixtape. <laughs> With that on there? That's on there? Yeah, that's one of the tracks on there. And you're telling me Lloyd Banks isn't one of the best spitters? Not for me, no. Hmm. Hmm. Interesting. Very probably. <laughs> Did you watch the Erica Badu and Jill Scott versus? No. That was very good. I think so far that was the best one. I didn't watch it. Did you watch it because you are not familiar with Jill Scott? I said I didn't watch it because I didn't want to watch it. Right, that's what I'm saying. Did you not want to watch it because you're not familiar with Jill Scott? Why would that be an issue that I'm not familiar with Jill Scott? Because some people are only familiar with Erica Badu and they're like, fuck it, I'm not going to watch it. because I, I didn't want to watch it because I had a better shit to do. Hmm, but you watched the Teddy Riley baby face. No, only because you said it to me and I didn't watch the whole thing. So I can send the Badu and Jill Scott one No, I just don't say it <laughs> You don't like Erica Badu? I do. So, but you wouldn't want to see her in the versus battle? No. Why? Because I have other things to do. Huh. But you made time for Teddy Riley. No, I didn't. I just, you happened to send it to me, and I wanted to see what you was talking about. I watched it for a few seconds, and that was it. Huh. I didn't watch the whole thing. Huh. I care about Teddy Riley and Babyface singing and putting on songs and shit. <laughs> I don't give a fuck about none of that shit. <laughs> okay, so this weekend, what? it's another versus battle. I'm not going to do it either. I, I know you're not going to do this one, but I want to know your opinion. What is there, a UFO flying over us or some shit? I assume that's a plane and a <laughs> UFO. Ludacris mm-hmm. versus Nelly. Hit for hit, who would you think? What's going to take about five minutes? What do you mean five minutes? They gonna play two songs a piece next week? <laughs> well, Nelly had a lot of hits though. You had Country Grammar. That's the only one I know. You had Country Grammar. You had uh, Hot in Here. Oh, okay. That was a hit. That's two. You have uh, uh, EI. That's three. You had uh, what the mm-hmm. fuck? Uh, Dilemma with Kelly Rowland. You have uh, Rock the Mic that he did with State Property. The Rock the Mic remix. You you have um, fuck Air Force Ones. (laughs) I'm already well past the the two, three you said. Well, the reason why I said two, three because you know, most of the people around, a lot of the people around, I think, I guess, might remember that, but it's going to be real short. <laughs> I'm only laughing because that is a funny point. I, I think, so you're saying this battle can't go 20 rounds. <laughs> How? How? How could it go 20 rounds? <laughs> they would be lying if they go 20 rounds. Anyway, nigga, you ain't produced that. That ain't your song. How do not get up the first as we laugh and you get up? Did you put lotion on? No, not really. You putting body cream on, baby? Mm-hmm. <laughs> uh, I never, you know, I was talking to my homeboy last night. I'm never get in really, here. I never really was a fan of uh, Luda like that. Like, Luda had some good songs, but... Nothing really made me jump out and say, man, Luda's just that dude right now. Not a one of them. But Nelly, but Nelly knew he was more commercial, though. He knew that was his place. I mean, they both were, kind of. Huh. They both were like MC Hammers. MC Hammers? Mm-hmm. Mm, Luda? Yeah. Mm. Love that. 
fuck was that? My phone must be removed. Mm-hmm. Do, 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 do. <laughs> It don't? Dosha's phone was ringing, y'all. We heard it in our headphones. That's why it sounded a little cuckoo. Mm. So I'm smoking a cartridge from Frost Farms here in Anchorage. Shouts to Frost Farms, man. They're Saturday 30% off, man. I I definitely must say that this is phenomenal. Hmm. What? I don't know. You don't got the... Well, find my iPhone ain't gonna do shit if you lost your phone. That's just gonna tell you the vicinity the shit's in, pretty much. You could go to it, your shit could still be 500 yards away. Mm. Yeah, I'm interested to know, man, who everybody's picking for this battle, man. I'm gonna, here. I'm gonna have to go with Nelly. You found it? Yeah. Yeah, I'm gonna have to go with Nelly, man. Mm-mm-mm. So, Docious. What? The part two to that story. Part two, what story? To my story. Oh. <laughs> Because Dosh just likes to be entertained with shenanigans like this. So, I emailed the people to set up a payment arrangement. You know, I was like, you know, I'll do a payment arrangement. And uh, one of the co-workers I have, he was like, yeah, I just did mine for like $10, $15. Mm-hmm. So, I emailed him. I was like, yeah, I'll just do the arrangement for $15. Y'all can take it back. They emailed me back and said that they could only do a minimum of $50. And I just thought that was funny. Like, it's not that serious. Just, at this point, just take the fucking money back. No sharp, no witty comebacks? I told him, fuck it, then I ain't getting the money. <laughs> you told him, fuck it, you ain't getting the money then? Ain't the money then. Uh, yeah. That's what I told him. Mm-mm. What is all that noise outside? Construction, I think. Uh, you think this is going to show up on the podcast? You think they can hear all this shit? Probably. <laughs> Don't just zero fucks, y'all. Mm. So what's up, man? What you got to talk about? What you want to talk about today? Nothing, really. You don't want to talk about anything. What do you think Joe Biden's going to pick a... Uh, Kamala Harris is his VP. He better not. He better not. Mm-hmm. Better not. Why? <laughs> you know why. Why I, you I'm ask asking. Me? I why you know ask why. me? You already I want to know for your opinion why. Because he would lose. The bitch ain't got shit. <laughs> <laughs> she has looks. Like I said, I'm talking politically. I don't know what the fuck you're talking so, about. Hey, can, so can we keep she doesn't it real? Have anything. Can we keep it real? And some people, some people vote for people because they're attractive. That's not what I'm talking about. But is there a percentage of people? That I don't vote? know the percentage. I've never done a poll or anything. But there, you would say there are people. No, I out wouldn't there. because I don't know. <laughs> I just seen, said I don't know. I've seen somewhere it was like a video or something of a white woman that said she voted for Obama because he was attractive. Okay. So there, there are those people out there. I'm sure they are. I don't know how many they are. Huh. Hmm. What if I voted, what if it was her and I voted for her because she was attractive? Would you be mad at me? Why would I be mad at you? I'm just asking. Would you, you, would you be like, yo, why did you vote for Kamala? And I said, because. That thing had nothing to do with me. <laughs> why you voted for Kamala? It had nothing to do with me. <laughs> if I said, Kamala ain't shit, but she's attractive. That's up to you. That's up to me. It's your vote. <laughs> Not saying she's going to be the VP, because I don't think so. He'd be a fool to vote for her, pick her. But wouldn't he be a bigger fool if he picked Elizabeth Warren? No. 
No? No. Why? Because she's a white woman and she had traction. But she had traction, but the whole Indian shit and all that, she took a hit for that. That don't mean nothing. You know, then that means that no, a bunch of white folks think they in there they one, two, one, <laughs> one thousand, twenty four. Yeah. <laughs> so she doesn't take a hit for that. No. Huh? You know she doesn't. I, I'm asking. I don't know. Yes, you do. Stop I, and lying. I, and, I, and, I, and I question that. The reason why I question that is because mm-hmm. she didn't even win her own state. You know, she don't have to. If she can't win her own state, how's she gonna convince the whole country? If that's what you use to test her. Frown is okay, but that doesn't mean that she can't win because she doesn't win her own state. Hmm. So what they might feel differently. Her own state might feel differently come election time? No. She don't have to win her own state to win the election. Hmm. Okay. That's interesting. Who do you think you should pick? I don't know. I don't know at this point. I don't... Joe, Joe he Biden... He kind of locked himself in saying a woman, didn't he? Yeah, he did. But he can, he locked that, himself that can in. change. That can change. That definitely could change. So you think what if he picks Hillary? <laughs> he probably lose. <laughs> probably or most likely. Probably. Yeah. I'm not gonna put so I ain't gonna put too much on it, but I'll put a little something on it. Hmm. Mm-mm-mm. He'll probably lose. <laughs> if he pick Kamala Harris, definitely. <laughs> Do you think Kamala Harris as soon as he, get, soon as he pick her, it's going to be like him standing on the bridge with a rock tied to his <laughs> wrist. <laughs> that bad? And Donald Trump will be the one throwing it in the river. <laughs> <laughs> so you hear screaming off the bridge. Uh, but do you think Kamala can win in her own state? Why is that? I don't know. Hmm. I don't know. That'd be very, that'd be very interesting to see. Because California is a blue state. It'd be very interesting to see how that would play off if Kamala would be the nominee. What her own state would think about her. I guess. Hmm. What is that proof of you for that they can that they can win if they win the state? And they can't if they don't win their No, I just think it'd be interesting voter-wise what, what the voters do. Why? Would they support her or not? Why? Why does it make a difference? If they're, if, if, what is she, a Democrat? Yeah. And her state's a Democrat? <laughs> I think you're trolling me right now. Why? You didn't know Kamala Harris is a Democrat? No, no, not for sure. I can <laughs> guess. I just didn't want to guess. You didn't know California is a blue state? Is blue means Democratic? Yes. Means generally, but who else they would pick then? A different, different Democratic candidate? No, but I'm saying if he picked her, would they vote for her so on the ballot? So Elizabeth Warren didn't win her state, but she's Republican, right? No, Elizabeth Warren's she's a Democrat. Democrat. Okay. okay, so who else did they pick besides her in her state? Uh, the choices were her, Biden, and I think Bernie was still in at the time. Oh, okay. Yeah. So in her state, she couldn't even pull over Biden and Bernie. Did she beat Biden? Did she come in second or third? I don't know. I'd have to go back and look at it. She came in second or third, if I'm not mistaken. But she didn't come in first. Mm-hmm. But, I mean, with Kamala, it'd just be interesting to see. Because she's African-American. She's a woman. And it'd be interesting for me. Just me personally. Interesting I don't know to see I'm, what? Just to see if they would vote for her in California. Down ballot. Be a good topic. Man, are we being surveilled? Are you being surveilled? What is up with all these planes, man? Trucks? What the fuck? We close the window, man. <laughs> Look at all this shit. We got trash trucks, dumpsters. So? <laughs> you like the sound of nature? The sound of business being conducted? Mm-hmm. <laughs> this is the business edition. This is the business edition? Mm-hmm. Okay. The business edition. So, uh, Takashi's out. Right? Okay. We saw, heard a little bit about what he said. Mm -hmm. We saw some of the video. I must admit, I got to admit, number one, a lot of people said you shouldn't watch the video. I watched the video definitely for research purposes because this was going to be a topic this week. 
I said that last week. But I gotta say, the women in that video were fantastic. I'm just an ass shaking guy. But where does this leave Takashi? So apparently, he the place he was staying, a girl put the address out there because she just I guess was out one day and then she saw him on the balcony. She was like, "Oh shit, that's Takashi. He stays next door." Pretty much, and put the address. So he moved. And I didn't check any Why? videos, but apparently his address got found out again. Why is he moving? Because I guess he doesn't want people to know where he's at. He just wants to do his internet thing and put out Why music. Not? I think people's gonna. He thinks people's gonna come get him. Apparently, he was talking telephone <laughs> with the IG thing. Why he keep moving? He was telling people to suck his dick or whatever he was saying. <laughs> Why he keep moving? I, I get it. Why keep moving? That dude is such a man. I mean, do we really think that people would go do something to him out in the open like that? That that would be a foolish move, well, right? That's his problem. Mm -hmm. It ain't my problem. That's his. Hmm. They should be doing shit like that. They should try to keep moving the addresses. Like what do that. you think, since you've done a long stint, mm -hmm. what do you think of what he said from what we heard? Like what? About the reason he did it was because, you know, they set him up to get robbed. Uh, dude, one of his, the, one of the close guys was fucking his baby's mom. And it was just a whole bunch of, he said a whole bunch of underhanded shit that was going on. Was well, the reason why well, he was like, fuck him. The, the, <clears throat> I mean, it's, it happens, uh, all that happens anyway. You mm -hmm. know, you have people who you, uh. The people who that are around you, you can never know for sure. But obviously, he picked people who are around him who ain't shit. Mm -hmm. In my opinion, um, for all those other reasons, it, it, in my opinion, he's lying because not standing on what you stand on is not about what other people do. It's what you do, how right. you feel about yourself. So, if my baby's mom slept with somebody or they set me up to be robbed that shit happens mm -hmm. sometimes it is your homies but that still has not that still for me that has nothing to do with what, who you are mm -hmm. so if you if you're the person who 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 um, tells him himself that uh, or herself I guess that I'm not gonna do something no matter what happens because that's what I that's who I am so then you wouldn't do it you have a choice he in my opinion, he probably told because he didn't want to stay in jail. Mm -hmm. I'm sure that he wouldn't have got the, all the maximums that he got, but he did. He participated willingly in things that he thought that were cool, I guess, or things that he thought he should do. Setting people up, paying people to get shot, fighting people, talking all crazy, and then all of a sudden when you get Calling arrested, out hits out in the open. Yeah, and so when you're <laughs> doing all that and... Then you go to jail and you tell on the people who you had that you had that, <laughs> that you did the crimes with. Mm -hmm. You know to, you, that has nothing to do with who your baby mama is sleeping with. That had nothing to do with them setting you up. And I heard some who be loyal and this and that. That's it's not being loyal when you don't tell. You're not being loyal to anyone else. You're being who you are. Right. I don't think that has anything to do with loyalty per se. I mean, I guess it does, but I didn't think of that. I just thought of. That that's not something that I would do. Mm -hmm. So I, it didn't matter who I felt was loyal to me or who I was loyal to. It was just who I was. So, mm -hmm. so I don't understand what he's talking about. Hmm. My baby mom fucked people too, but that ain't <clears throat> had nothing to do with it. Hmm. While you were in or out? While I was in. Hmm. Out too, I guess. I don't know. Hmm. So that didn't change. Mm -hmm. Do you think it? Because I mean, although it, I, to, although there were days and weeks and months and years that I wish I had done that shit, <laughs> but I mean it's hard. You know, it's, time isn't easy. I, I, I you know, you <clears throat> what has to, what happens is is that when you you when you. Will you? And this is just my take. I don't know if everybody who's been in jail for a while has this particular take, but you have no idea 
really well especially in my case I didn't really have anybody to tell me this is how you do it this mm-hmm. is this, this so I had to learn by experience by when I was younger the motherfucking cops grabbed me motherfucker you go to oh, yeah. so you you know you're a kid right. because when you're younger you're ingrained or not brainwashed but what's the other word um well ingrained I use that word mm-hmm. you're you're um you're told to respect authority. Whoop, do, whoop, whoop, whoop. So when you run, encounter the police, before you really hit the streets, if you don't have like a quote unquote tutor or somebody who has been in the streets who has already experienced that or been taught, so you have to learn real time. And mm. so learning real time, you do things that you realize later as you get older that you shouldn't be doing or this is how you do it. Right. So I didn't have that person to say, well, this and this and this and that, this is street, this, that and this. So. I had to learn piece by piece, mm-hmm. and then and then how can I say become who I am now because I was in the street learning piece by piece right. that way. So when you when you learn it that way, like I said, you you make mistakes, you do shit that you you shouldn't be doing, and so it's about for me it was about the experiences <laughs> you learn by being in the street doing things and doing this and doing that and all the things that have led up to me going to jail. Then after jail, then you be you you understand. Well, I should say, I understand why people tell. Mm-hmm. Most certainly I do. Not saying they should do it or not, but I, I certainly understand why people tell. Mm-hmm. And so, for me, if somebody's never done a bid, and so I'm not talking about a bid like a couple of years. I'm talking about at least... At least a dime. Mm-hmm. I, I, I say over five. If you've done over five straight, you should... I would think have the mentality that okay, some things I'm just not going to do mm-hmm. because I don't want to go to jail. You probably still do things, but now that you'll limit the exposure to you going to jail for such a length of time. Mm-hmm. That's that's my experience, you know. So does it make sense for me if I was going to go back into the game? It wouldn't make sense for me to do this shit the same way I was doing it before because before I didn't give a fuck. Right. Now I'm like, hmm. Mm-hmm. <laughs> After a decade, oh shit. Right. So <clears throat> you you it, it should change. So after uh, what I'm saying is that I know the other side. Most well, a lot well of people, not only well not only not to interrupt you, but ahead. not only time changes. I mean circumstances change, and then the way law enforcement works changes because well, it's not like. It, it isn't even the same from well, 10 you can't, years ago. Well, you can't control none of that, though. <clears throat> I'm right. really talking about the things that you can control. And so the only thing that you can control is no matter whatever wrong that you're doing, whatever, I guess, crime you choose to commit after you've done so much time, you have to, you, a person should think, damn, if I do this and they catch me, I'll get another 10, 15. Mm-hmm. Okay, well, maybe I better not do that when I better find something else to do. Right. Some people don't. They just go back and then, you know, but I'm sure it changes for them. Some things changes for them. They should know more. Things should change for them and they should be doing something differently. Mm-hmm. Um, that's, it is, that is in my case. And so I say that to say that people who haven't been through all those experiences have no idea what they're talking about. Mm-hmm. If somebody who just been on the street, been in, even if they've been in games and they had the mentors, but they've never been through a bid, mm-hmm. then they have no idea what they're talking about. Right. About not telling, about whatever. They just think that they do. Mm-hmm. It is only until the person gets caught, then all that, then you'll see if they really believe right. what they've been telling themselves or what they believe they believe in. So all the memes in the world that people put up don't mean a hill of beans. No. Because you see all these people that put up these memes like, yo, this is the scenario. You got kids. You got caught. Would you tell to be free and this and that? that has, and you have all these people that comment and chime in saying, that has, hell no. Nah, that has, and this that and that. has something. That has nothing. To, until whomever, unless a person gets caught. So when I got caught. My, one of my sons was four and a half months. An, another son and daughter was four and five. My oldest was seven. Sean was probably five. And all my kids were young. Mm. And that never came in, to, in my particular experience, that never came in to whether I was going to tell or not. Mm. Um, me wanting to be with my girl, that never... I, this I knew that this was part of it. Mm-hmm. All I wanted to do is not is to to have an out date. 
right. not to go to jail for the rest of my life. <clears throat> so when I knew that I could get an out date, I said, well, shit, I'm selling dope. I got to accept it. I didn't know how long actually 169 months was going to be, but mm-hmm. that's what... Fuck, 169 months. Mm-hmm. 14 years in one month. So you... So you did 14? 12. 12. Because mm-hmm. good time, obviously. Mm-hmm. Jesus. So mm-hmm. you... you. In my experience, that has nothing to do with it. Like I said, it's, it's who you are mm-hmm. at the time. Who you believe you, you, you... Who you believe you are at the time you get caught. You know, so, you know, if you've never been through the experience, I, I hear people talking, but in my, from my experience, if, if they tell me, oh, I've been in jail before, how long have you been? Oh, two, three years. I'm like, <laughs> okay. <laughs> and I, you know, that's just So my wait, opinion. what year did you go to jail? 98. Damn, I was still in high school. Yeah. That's how I tell you, you don't know shit. And you got out. You don't know oh, shit. Oh, I know shit. Right. I know shit, cause nigga, you missed a lot. <laughs> I know. You you, you you know a lot from that period. <laughs> <clears throat> Jesus, ninety eight. Mm-hmm. Fuck. Damn, I was seventeen. Sixteen. <laughs> yeah. No, seventeen. Yeah, seventeen. Damn. And got out what year? Two thousand ten. Fuck. September? Jesus. Well, actually, I went to the halfway house. I didn't get out out, out until 2011, March. Damn. So, that's, a, that's a long time to keep your butt on a swivel, man. Well, you know, that's, like I said, you, know, <laughs> you, you... I had to throw that you, in there. You don't, you don't know what it is, in mm-hmm. my opinion, until you do it, mm-hmm. you know? Hmm. So, if, you, if, if the... the the <clears throat> even 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 somebody who's been in the game who's 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 my age or older but they've never done a bid and that's at least unlikely but it it, it it I mean I'm sure there are people out there I would still even if he was older and never went to jail I still would say that person doesn't do understand. you talk to any of them dudes you was locked up with some of them yeah they got out yeah yeah hmm. yeah some got out so some call me that I haven't heard from them. Some pick me up. Huh. Yeah. Damn, 14 years. Fuck. What? That's a long time, man. It is. It really is. When you put it into perspective, it is a long time. It is, but you have to do it. <laughs> Jesus. I, mean, I, can't, I think I said this. Okay, before. close the door. Nigga, it's too much. What do you mean? It's It's planes flying. I hear I hear a nigga hitting a hammer over there. Construction. They build they build it down the street. I get it. The economy's open, but fuck them. I'm glad the economy's opening back up, but goddamn. You can still hear the play whether the window's open or not. Oh, you can just hear it a little loud. I hear a nigga, bang, bang. You gotta get some air department. You try to close the window. Can you still hear the plane? Just you can hear this. You can hear the banging still, right? Just catch this contact high, man, and relax. You can tell us opening the window back up, y'all. <laughs> you Have you it. ever got a contact high before? I don't know. You don't know. You never just been sitting in the car or been somewhere with somebody and like, yo, am I high? No. No. Hmm. Hmm. <sighs> Damn. So, so wait a minute. You were where were you locked up at? Beaumont, Texas. Oh, yeah, I forgot you did say Leavenworth, Texas. Kansas. Huh. Damn. So, you know, I, it, it take, I mean, I could, like I said, I could be wrong, but some, I, I wouldn't, I wouldn't say anything to the Why did, why did they, just maybe, doubt. I didn't want to interrupt you right. again, but how did they send you all the way to Texas? How was that decided? How did they figure well, that? I have no idea. They don't have a federal prison in Alaska, so they send you wherever. Right, but I would think they would send you at least somewhere closer to the West Coast. Where did they get? Did they spin a spin a wheel? Probably. And... <laughs> I'm like, wait a minute. I'm trying to Beaumont, Texas. They kill the nigga wheel because they sent me to USP. Jesus. So I don't know. I wasn't there that long, but. Huh. Maybe the feds have a lucky lottery or some shit. I don't think it's lucky. But, you know. 
I went where I went, and so like I said, if people don't, it's it, when you when you want to not tell, when you want to be that person, there's no way you jump in it and to be that person, right? That gangster or whatever you it jump is, in it, not even thinking about getting caught. No, what I'm saying is you jump, you you when you first hit the streets, you don't you you're <laughs> when people hit the streets, unless their lives have been totally hard, unless their moms and dads been crackheads and they've been, or their moms and dads are gangsters or whatever. Mm-hmm. Even in that point, you still just exposed to it. You still now you're you're being made, mm-hmm. but you're not exposed. You're not exposed as you're doing it. So mm-hmm. once you get out there and you're exposed as you're doing it, when I mean that, you're making your own decisions. You're hanging out who you want to hang out with. They're just not coming over to the house with your mom and dad. So you're out there in the streets now for your, on your own decision making. Right. Even then, you still have to be built. There's no way. That you get out off the porch being whomever else you may be later. Mm-hmm. So it's hard to determine uh, what you will and what you won't do at that point. So th- so what I'm saying is once you once you start being in the streets, you you who you are, your character is being built bit by bit, bit by unless you have some sort of somebody helping you build it, mm-hmm. quote unquote, for the street. So if you don't get that, then there's no way that. If you had, if one couple, if, <laughs> just take it to Kashi Six Nine. If you just this one guy, then the next, next, because you get an album deal, then then you're this person, and then then you're this person. Then no, you're probably not that person. And mm-hmm. I say that some people aren't, but in his particular case, you know, you when you get caught, that's when you find out who you really are. I, you know, I sit up here and I see so many people on social media that are so upset at Takashi. And I get that, you know, people that are from the streets and all that, they, they feel a certain type of way about Takashi. I understand that, but at the same time, I'm mad. Well, well, let me say this first. I think that people have to really understand that Takashi never was from that. It didn't matter. He was somebody that jumped in and jumped matter. out of it. It didn't matter. It, did, it, did, it didn't matter. Then he shouldn't have been doing what he was doing. And and what I was going to follow up with was what upsets me about the situation is how he came into it and they obviously brought him into it. It was a two-way thing. He obviously wanted to be a part of the gang culture and, and the gang that he associated with brought him in. Mm-hmm. That's on them for bringing that dude that wasn't from that and trying to make well, him whatever they wanted to make him. Well, that's what I'm saying. I just stated that's what happens, though. Mm-hmm. You don't know. That's what I'm saying. Once you're initiated to whatever gang or to the streets, that's that's what happens. Mm-hmm. That When you first get off the porch, come out of school, whatever, and that's what you want to do, you go to join, you don't know how all that shit works. Mm-hmm. I mean, unless you've been exposed to that. You know, unless you have brothers or sisters or parents, whatever. So even in that, even if you have been exposed to it, when you officially join a gang, you have no idea of what they're going to ask you to do, what's going to happen, when you're going to get busted, if you're going to get killed. You mm-hmm. have no idea of that. So, like I said, now you're doing, you're in the gang, you're doing all the dirt. You have no idea how the cops work. Right. So then, when you get the cops, if the cops, or if and when the cops get their hands on you, then. Do they have they sat you down and said this is how you act when the cops get to you? This is what you say you don't say mm-hmm. when the cops get to you. This is what you you know what I'm saying. So if you if they're not schooling them that way, even if they did do that, it still doesn't make a difference until he gets caught. Yeah. So when he gets caught, you're saying that's when it we find out who he is. If that's what he really believes who he is. If he has some sort of standard, don't tell, don't do this, don't that. It's, I mean, it's not even, for me, it wasn't even that, mm-hmm. you know. For me, it was like, I knew these people before we were doing this. Right. Like, I know their brothers, their moms, and stuff like that. I mean, we're, in my mind, we're kind of like a family. There's no mm-hmm. way that I would tell on my own family or my street family. Mm-hmm. So I'm not going to just say, yes, this is who he did, get on the stand and give these people time. I'm I'm just not going to do that. So that's was that was me. So it wasn't really. That's why I say it has nothing to do with any code, mm. anything, whatever. It's just that's something I couldn't do. So 
You can call that the code, but that was that was the code that's inside of me. That wasn't had nothing to do with not snitching, whatever. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you, it goes through your mind. You think about it. You think about do you want to do the time? Do you want to do do you want to do it that way? And then so you 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 contemplate. But he took you advantage have. of that because, like I said, I mean, you know, all his fans, the fans that he has that supports Takashi, they obviously support that fact that, like I said, Takashi. Well, they have. That's what I'm saying. Those fans, more than like, in, in my opinion, those people who who are his fans have no idea what it's like to to do live the lifestyle and then be right. Arrested. He so does it all no, that in the videos, but he's not a dude that's on the corner with a rag in his pocket or out sitting here flagging his shot fellas. at, shooting people. He's, he wasn't he's, that. He's not even anywhere getting Near harassed that. because, I mean, for the cats that are affiliated or, or bang or whatever, they don't have a rag and they just wear the, the color of the shirt, a red or a blue well, shirt like or I whatever. Said, he, he's not getting harassed by the cops for well, just wearing a, a blue tee. I think that those people are mad because he, they're insulted. Like, this first... First, he's hanging out with the gangs. First, he still got his money. First, we, when you go to jail, they take everything. They took everything I had. Mm-hmm. Everything. So when I go to jail, I have nothing. Mm-hmm. You know. So when I come home, I basically have nothing either. This dude, he go, he hangs out with the people, does his thing. He come back, he rapping, trying to give two hundred thousand away. Most dudes come home, they ain't got shit. So obviously, part of the deal was he got to keep some money. Or obviously. So he, you know, a lot of dudes see that, which I would too. If I've been banging for years, 20 years, and I've been in and out of jail doing my thing, I still barely got shit. This motherfucker got shit before he goes and he tells and then he can I'd be upset too, partially about that, but probably mm-hmm. more so about how he, he just went in there and just, I mean, any, I think that any real gangster can see that what the, what the problem was in the beginning. Any real gangster, whomever has been in the street, can see that this dude was not going to hold up his own. You call it, you, you, it's obviously he calling mm-hmm. hits out mm-hmm. over the phone and doing shit like that. He's just doing dumb shit. You, you can tell that he's just going through the motion mm-hmm. of just acting how he thinks that a person like that is supposed to act. He's doing it now, mm-hmm. you know. So it, it's, it's obviously so silly <laughs> to me. You know, his video, I haven't checked what it recently is at, but I know, I think last time they said it was done millions of views. So that trans, that's going to translate into money whenever he puts an album out, obviously. People, if people like, if people like the way he does his thing. He won't be able to tour, though. I don't know. I would imagine, I, I imagine that, not if you keep moving all the time. I, I would imagine that security would have to be highest of the high for him to have a concert or a tour. If 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 he were if he was really to get the only way he could get some of it back, some some sort of street cred back is if he didn't move. If he just said fuck it, if they go kill me, they go kill me. Hmm. I'm not going nowhere. And that would get some. That would that's big. A, a piece. That would get. You think that'd be big if that he was like big. he was like this is why I'm mad. This won't be come did. get me. You, you know. If he if he was on Instagram was like I'm here. You won't be you come get me. I sleep with Shoot it. Shoot it up like Scarface, baby. <laughs> Do you think did they he, would come? Did he get? Uh, they <laughs> bite. <laughs> but the same way he went down, he got to go out. If he told, he got to accept the consequences. If he can accept the consequences, then he get a bar up on my my view. Uh, uh, saying all that baby mama shit, nah. <laughs> he ain't convinced me with that. But if he said, hey, I told, uh, I did what I did, motherfucker won't come get me. My address is whoop de whoop 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 whoop. This is where I stay. I don't want no witness protection program. Okay. Long as I can, as long as you still let me buy my buy some guns, I'm good. See, the problem I think Takashi's having is he considered in witness protection program now? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know if that's been confirmed. Yeah, I don't what think does that so. Sound? That's construction, probably. I guess. In another plane. <laughs> another plane. We're by the airport, kind of. <sighs> so, uh, if he is or isn't in witness protection, let's just assume he is. Mm-hmm. 
Obviously, they're going to put him with other people in witness protection. No, they or, 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 Well, they shouldn't. They could put him out and about somewhere totally. Well, yeah. But the problem with this is, this is the major problem with Takashi being in witness protection or being not in witness protection and being a superstar. These white neighborhoods that he's going to move to, they have kids that listen to his music. And know who he is. Well, that's what I'm saying. Well, he would have to change his appearance and then right. go somewhere. So he hasn't done it. So I don't. He think, can't go nowhere. I don't with think rainbow he, hair. Because, I don't think he's in what this protection because it would be too. What, it would be too. The way he's going about it would be too hard for them to protect him. In my opinion, I think. Yeah, he's just out. Mm-hmm. He's just out with colored hair, and every you know every be, white parent's kid knows be, who Takashi is. Yeah, I'd be like, fuck it. Like I said, in order to get some of it back, I'd be like, I don't give a fuck. Yeah, mm-hmm. I did it. Here I am. I live in such and such and such. Motherfucker got a problem with me. Come see me. Right. And that's it. What else could he do? Yeah. Then if they came to see him and he dusted all of them, mm. <laughs> and he dusted them, if, if they got if they got smoked, <laughs> he dusted it. <laughs> that's Woo! <why> <laughs> Toshis is putting two on the ten with this. Woo! And he, they came to get him and he dusted him. And he him. ran out with a chopper. Yeah. And he dusted him. <laughs> Whoa! Shit! <laughs> the chances of his, this. His next album, he would be double diamond. <laughs> triple diamond. <laughs> so, so if somebody comes to Takashi, you say it. If, if by a happenstance, he sat up here and lit their ass up. Woo! His street cred would be wow. <laughs> they be ready to make a movie. <laughs> they be ready to make we a could, movie. We could go straight to the book and movie. <laughs> straight. I, that would be like a three-hour movie if this if this scenario happened. As hilariously as it is, as it is, if he sat up here, was started off as an average kid. <laughs> Got got the music. His music wasn't selling. Mm-hmm. Got affiliated with a blood gang in New York. Mm-hmm. Did all this shit with his blood gang. Had all these issues and all this stuff. Mm-hmm. Got popped with the blood gang. Mm-hmm. Snitched on the gang. <laughs> got out. Was telling people where he was at. They came uh-huh. and they got dealt with like Ti say expeditiously. Expeditiously. <laughs> you would be the man. Said he would be the man. I am very interested in this scenario. Do I think this scenario would happen? No. But you have to admit, that would be, that's more than a lifetime movie. Right now, he's probably at the point where he could get a lifetime movie. But past that, he could probably get a, a, a good universal movie after that. I can't believe it. Mm-mm-mm. Yeah, I don't know. It'd be interesting to see. Uh, I think it's going to be interesting to see when his first song comes out. What people are gonna, how people are gonna respond to, well, the first album, I should say, post release. How people are gonna respond to it, and see. Oh, if he did that, <laughs> he'd be back. <laughs> he'd be back. I said you could skip Lifetime movie. You could go straight to the big screen. Oh yeah, <laughs> and, uh, and 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 let him. Get shot up. It was clean to life. It came back. It didn't die. Like, like, get pop, back in there. Like pocket fifty. Mm-hmm. Uh. <laughs> he tell him, he tell him you hit me, but you didn't fucking do the yeah, job. Yeah. <laughs> Come out all bad and stuff. You know what? Fuck you, motherfuckers. Come back again. <laughs> I dust them motherfuckers off. Just I dust you off just like I dusted them motherfuckers. Come oh, on. my gosh. <laughs> what do you think would happen if that happened? I, I don't, the chances of that are zero. I'm just but saying. If that happened, I, I, I the movie would sell. <laughs> the movie would sell. I think black people would go see the movie. He would be the man, dude. Could nobody talk shit about it that? No that'd be bigger than a Harriet Tubman movie. <laughs> Could anybody still talk shit about him? Would it be hard? Would it because a motherfucker would say something be like, "Yeah, that's this that motherfucker." Yeah, he did, but look what he dealt. He he handled his business. It would it would open the this lines of conversation. All his motherfuckers. I, think. Off. I yeah. think it would open the lines of conversation. 
because it's like, okay, on one hand, he's a snitch, but on the second hand, he will smoke you. <laughs> so, <laughs> you got to like, have that, like, that, that conversation like, has can, to be had. Can you talk shit about the dude shot Nipsey, Nipsey Hustle? Can you talk shit about mm-hmm. him? No, he was... He was... The, the sad thing about that situation, like I said before, is just, you know, niggas was just doing what niggas do. You know? So, I mean, it... it what was you going to say? He said something to him. No, and, and no matter if he told or not, he smoked his ass. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that's a good point. You know, it's it's a, it's a hard he sell. Was, Dipsy wasn't ready. Yeah, it wasn't ready. Sadly enough. Yeah. I mean, but but stuff like this gets happened every day. Well, that's that's it's what, it's it's plenty. It's been plenty of situations where niggas have been called something and they well, come back blasted. Well, that's what I'm saying. That's why I said he, Nipsey had one foot in and one foot out. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? He thought he could talk. I'm just saying he thought he could say something like that and then maybe the dude wouldn't do anything. But the right. thought is, from what I learned, if you go to say something, you always have to think about what that person may do, no matter who. Right. He is. Right. So, and if you don't at least think about that, then you think about if you say something or you especially, don't say something. Especially at your place of business. Right. So, is 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 if, if, if this dude get if, if I'm standing there, and if I say I say something, depending on how I say it or whatever, because I don't know exactly what he said to the dude, if he mm-hmm. said anything to him. Mm-hmm. But I imagine if he did say something to him like they said he said, what is this dude going to do? Right. So, I got to be prepared to do whatever I need to do also. So right. if I'm not prepared, then I might not even say nothing. Because, I mean, the dangerous thing about doing something like that, you know, like I said, you know, it's sad what happened to Nipsey. But in the in the same token, you know, when you do stuff like that and you're a business owner and, you, like you said, you're halfway in, halfway out, if you do stuff like that in front of your business, that puts your place of business at risk too. Well, because it, the dude could have just came back another time. Well, it it could have been kids in any, there, and well, he could have just came back well, blasting well, just yeah, blasting any, store up. Yeah, any time though. Any it right. doesn't matter if you're if you're at that level owning businesses or you're just out with right. your family. Right. You know what I'm saying? Or you're by yourself. You gotta in my opinion, you gotta think, what if I do this, am I really prepared to deal with what else comes? So if your if your thought is well, do I kill somebody, mm-hmm. or does he kill me? If that's what it's going to go there, or does do I have to fight him, or whatever? So you have to weigh what you're doing. And if and if for some reason if he did say what he said to him, or they said they said that he had said to him, then he should have been prepared after that mm-hmm. for what happens. Mm-hmm. He may have been thinking, well, that motherfucker nigga snitch, he ain't gonna do shit. Yeah. Wrong answer. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So, and I don't know if that's what he done, but you don't know. I mean, he maybe he said it in front of somebody for some reason the dude took it out on him. I don't know what happened. Right. You know? So, mm-hmm. but that's what happens. And so if you're not prepared at that point to deal with what's going, if you're going to live that lifestyle, you're not prepared to deal with it on those terms in that lifestyle, then you probably shouldn't be saying it no matter who you are. Yeah. Or doing it or saying or doing it or who you are. I've had to back down a few times. And, but not because somebody made me, because I said, damn, am I really at fucking 47 years old and I'm ready to play with some bullshit? I said, <laughs> do some bullshit. I seen you out here in cars mm-hmm. yesterday. I kind of know both the dudes. I know one of the dudes. I'm not going to mention his <laughs> name. So I'm going towards cars at the light of gambling cars. Mm-hmm. I see him crossing the street. He got a big ass Rambo knife behind <laughs> <laughs> he got a big ass Only at cars <laughs> in Fairview So he, he When he's crossing the street I don't know who he is at first Because he's a fall Like who the fuck is this motherfucker Crossing the street Just walking in front of the car So as I get closer I see who it is And I see him Going towards the dude I see him with this big ass Rambo knife Like cuffed by, not Cuffed up You know how you hold the, the knife part up Against your arm Right So he's got it like that He approaching the dude So I stop mm-hmm. I'm watching And uh he talking, they, he sees to be hollering, boom, he hits the dude, bam, the dude fall on the ground. Mm-hmm. And people like, stop, stop, stop dude, but they, you know, they doing what they do, then he just walked across the street. So this dude has got to be, I think he's older than me. He's got to be 50 something. Mm-hmm. Could you imagine that 50 years old still engaging doing in this, shit? <laughs> engaging in the nigga shit. Yeah. So I like, I was going, I thought to stop because I know the dude pretty good, but then I said, man, I yeah. I, I can't. I, no. Yeah. I'm not, you know. 
Mm. I said, nah, I'm just gonna let the police get him. If they at, at what him. point do you think? Because at what point do you think you should not engage in the nigga shit no more? That's a personal opinion. That's a personal. What when was yours? When I got out of jail. When you got out of jail, you said I'm not gonna engage in any nigga shit no more. Well, mine is I'm not. I'm gonna try not to do anything. That it's going to cause me to unnecessarily lose my life or take anybody else's. <clears throat> because of being in jail, yeah, it's part of it, but you you don't want to be there. Right. So if you've been to jail that long, that's another part of experience I'm saying. If you've been to jail that long, you should, now that you're home, in my opinion, you should try your mm. best not to be involved in shit that could cause you... To not be able to live your life in a certain mm-hmm. way. You know, I just had a kid. I love my girl. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? I like being with my mom. I like being with my other kids. I like running, you know, trying to start a business. So I, all that's gone if I go to jail. Right. So it's, it, I, guess, I, guess, I guess some of us learn value of what you have or what you're doing. Even though you still kind of, even though I still kind of put that at risk sometimes, but still that's about, you're still living. Right. So I try not to, I, I weigh... I weigh things a little bit differently than I did before. That's mm. what I'm trying to say. So, uh, if you don't, you know, obviously I don't think that he does. Mm. But if that's what he want to be, I just thought that's what that made me think of. Like, this, this motherfucker still mm. <laughs> out there acting like a fool. I know. It's it's hard to determine. I'm trying to think of what age I was like, I'm not going to get into the nigga shit no more. I don't know. I'd have to. Th- I'd have to really sit and think about it. But I mean, it's a hard decision because I mean, even when I get like stupid customers that come in at my job, I'll be like, I just so want to just tell this motherfucker, you know what? <laughs> Fuck you. <laughs> but I don't know. It's like uh, I don't know. We'll see. Like I said, I'm interested in seeing how everybody takes to the the music. Is gonna be interesting, and then I have to see how everybody takes to that album when it comes out, and what's he gonna do as far as actually generating income? Because I mean, you know, if he's if he's independent, he'd be doing amazing right now. If he was an independent artist, I mean, he wouldn't even have to tour none of that shit. Just keep doing music from your room and fucking push the shit out and get money on your streams and your downloads and all that shit. But I mean, most artists, most big artists now are associated with a label and touring and all that is essential income because you get your money when you're touring. So he can still tour. Why can't he tour? He can. But like I said, that that's going to be every place that he tours is going to have to weigh how much of a liability he is because every place he tours, these places have to get insurance and they have to assess the liability, the risk. And Takashi doing a concert at, let's just say, Madison Square Garden in New York when it opens up. That's a high risk that I don't know Madison Square Garden would take. Why, why do we think everybody is after Takashi? Especially thing? since he already had an incident in Madison Square Garden. Why do we think every everybody is after Takashi? I, I don't think everybody's after no. him. I think, I think to go after me personally... I think to go after Takashi would be a stupid move because obviously the feds are still watching him. He's not going to be just doing all this shit and the feds just don't care about him. They're they're very interested to see who interacts with him. They're probably watching his social medias. They're probably looking at everybody that's commenting in the comments. Uh, I would think so, maybe. That's what they do. This isn't this isn't the eighties nineties anymore for these youngsters. They gotta know, you know, the feds watch all this shit, social media, you know, text messages. They can get all the shit that they want. Facebook will damn near just give it right to them, <laughs> or somebody on there who knows to give it to them. Right. So I mean, you know, to to go after Takashi to sit up here and make a a a threat to Takashi on social media and then try to go cash in on that threat, I think is a very dumb mistake. Yeah. I wouldn't do nothing to him at all, period. To be honest. Motherfucker snitch, he's just a snitch. You can kill him if you want to. Yeah, I mean, you could, if it's, you could take, if it's that important, you could take the homicide charge or whatever. But, <laughs> then, but then you'd probably get hit with a 
uh, killing a government informant. Maybe. You know? Maybe. So, and it might be federal. Oh, it will be federal. So, you really stepping into a rail. And, and when Takashi, his case had Homeland Security involved. No, it's still the Fed. Yeah, but that's that's a higher level than just the feds. No, it ain't. The, feds, the, the Department of Justice, the Department of Justice, no matter if it's the NSA or FBI, mm-hmm. ATF. I think the NSA is still on the, is under the Department of Justice. That's just the Department. That's just a branch under the Department of Justice. When you go FBI, and, so when you get, it, it can be anyone. At, you're 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 in a different jurisdiction other than the states. Mm-hmm. That's the highest you can go. Is <laughs> to be have one of them, the forest people, the homeland security. If you get, if you're that point, then yeah. Which I don't see how he would be that high because this is a gang shit. But mm-hmm. anyways, once you get them, once you get them in your business, you're pretty well. You know, the motherfuckers don't play. Hey. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I'm not saying that you should bow down or anything, but they don't. They don't play. If you think the streets is bad, fuck around with them. <laughs> Shit. They not playing. So either you go go to jail, or you you get found not guilty. That's a slimmer. Ch- you got a slimmer chance of them to get found not guilty than you got of going to jail hmm. or cooperating. There's only a few things you can do with them motherfuckers. Oh, man. What else is going on? What time we at? 56. What about the Aubrey thing? Uh, What do you think about the new footage that came out? I was going to... That was one of my topics on it anyway. That was my last topic. Well... Have you seen the new footage? I mean, I don't know what's new. I seen the one where he's going into the construction site. Is that the right? One? Right. Um, well, what I was thinking is, I'm trying to understand by showing the footage or saying he was burglarizing or whatever he was doing or stealing something. Why? How does that change him getting killed? It doesn't. I mean, how not change him getting killed, but how does that change the reasons for him getting killed? It doesn't. So that's what I'm not understanding. I was trying to watch this thing on Facebook when they were had the guys. I believe it was the person's house it was that he went into, mm-hmm. and I'm, under, I'm and he's talking to the guy. I'm like, well, why are you talking to him? What difference does it make if he was in there stealing? Right. What difference does he make if he was running down the street, money and jewelry and TVs and mm-hmm. whatever? What difference does that make? I think so. Mm-hmm. I think the only difference I, I, of opinion I have is that everybody should stop the hashtag jogger narrative because they had the hashtag I run with Aubrey because the, originally the case was that he was just jogging. So now with the new footage coming out, he obviously wasn't just jogging. How is that obvious? Because it's the come on, it's the footage. Right, but how did you did you watch the footage? So he couldn't have been jogging past by <clears throat> and went in there after he went into a dwelling he wasn't supposed to be in. Well, you just did went along with the video. Didn't you just see the people who said, "Well, we're going on a walk, and then we're going to go to this new subdivision and look around." And they showed them walk taking a walk and walking inside the new subdivision to look and see the floor plan and anything. So why couldn't he have been doing that? I'm not saying he wasn't in there to steal anything. I'm just saying... I totally get that. Okay, so we can't say, obviously, what his intentions were by seeing him in there. No, I I totally agree with you on that. What did you just say? What I said was, he obviously wasn't just jogging. The narrative was... He wasn't just jogging. He was was when those people, they weren't, those two, those three or whoever many people weren't outside the house when he took off out the house. They were somewhere else, right? Right. So to them, he was just jogging. To who he was just... The people who killed him. No, the the media painted the narrative that he was jogging. He was jogging at the time he met those people. Was he jogging or was he running from something? That's what I'm saying. I don't know when they started the footage. But what I'm saying is that when when the people, when the dude was following behind him, Uh he seemed to be running. Right, so that's not jogging. What do you mean that's not jogging? 
Running is jogging. What are you talking about? Okay, don't just. I get. I totally get what you're saying. I think we're not on sync with what. What I'm saying is the original narrative that everybody put out was this was a guy who was just out for a morning jog. Like he if was. I was, if he left, if he left this house to jog, mm-hmm. he was jogging. He's seen that he was jogging by. He said, "Oh, let me go check out this." He went in there to check it out. He didn't take nothing. He was looking look like. Is he, that the story? I don't know. That's what I'm saying. You're making that story. I'm not making the story. I'm saying that if he I, he left the house, mm-hmm. I don't know why he left the house. Mm-hmm. I can. I'm only using what they say, but I'm not going to infer anything else. I don't know what he was doing when he left the house. I don't know what he decided to do. When he left. I don't know why he was in the uh, the construction site. I don't know why he was. Running down the street that where they stopped him. I have no idea. But he was obviously running from them. No, he was. They were in. When I saw the video, they were in front of him. I don't know if they passed him by mm. or whatever. I'm only going by what I saw, so I don't know if he was running from them at before the, the dude started the video. All I seen was when you see the video come on. The first one mm. is that they're in front of him. There's somebody behind him filming. He, he's on one side. He goes mm-hmm. around. Right. I don't know if it's because the dude was over there and, and he went around. And whatever. then they tussled and he shot mm-hmm. him. I don't right. know. That's all I know. Right. So I don't know why he this assume If we could assume that he had shorts and running shoes on and he was running at the time, I don't know if he was running from them. I don't know if he right. was walking when they but saw that's him what I'm and saying. then he took and, off And running. I totally get that. But when it first came out, what I'm saying is they said the, he media, was jogging. the media said he was jogging. Okay, but so, they, but, so they ran with that. So if we go with that then, if he if left we the, go with that. He left the house mm-hmm. to go with a jog. Okay, now we have new footage. We're going to stick with that. Then we have new footage of him going inside mm-hmm. the house. So if he was jog, if we're going to stick with he was jogging, I'm not sticking with he was jogging. Oh, okay, that's well, what I'm saying. That was the original so. How narrative. does you see him in the house? Do you, why would that change that? It doesn't change anything. But what I'm saying is the mer- the I'm about to say <laughs> the narrative, <laughs> the narrative, <laughs> the narrative from the media to the public was that he was just jogging. That that's all I'm saying. What I'm saying is that is that that wasn't all the information at the time, and a lot of people had put out hashtags and stuff like that to that narrative. That's all I'm saying. I totally but agree with anything. Nothing's changed then. What do you mean nothing's changed? What, I'm not understanding what you're saying. It's just, if, if you if you don't agree, if what I'm saying is okay. I mean, think I, mean, I'm, I'm I think the media ran with the narrative. And you know they have. Well, to, if he his, wasn't, he wasn't just jogging. If he was just jogging, he wouldn't have stopped anywhere. That's not true. That's up to you. That's what, just your opinion. That's not okay, true. That's my opinion. Okay, and you're allowed that. Mm-hmm. So where do you? So go you with, think a person's gonna work up their cardio to stop and go check out the inner dwelling? Why would I? How 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 could I know? Tell you what's going on in his head? I don't know. Mm-hmm. Okay, that doesn't change. But I, I'm still saying. Even if it, it, even if he was even if he were jogging or even if he was out stealing, it, it still doesn't justify. I totally that agree. It doesn't so justify. It does. I don't. I don't care what he was doing. To be honest. Yeah, I agree with that too. So absolutely. But I don't understand why it matters to anybody else. What do you mean? It, news. Why they get people on there to say what he was doing inside the house like that changes him. The reason for him being killed. I exactly. I just think that the they. Uh, they put it out there a certain kind of way. And when more stuff starts to come out, I just look at it like I look at the whole, you know, with the, the Covington kids shit. But now they're suing motherfuckers. That's all I'm saying, that they should have got more details first instead of just putting, saying, oh, this guy was just on a jog and this happened. That's all I'm saying. That's it. I totally agree with you. I'm just saying that was. Well, I don't see why that is, is. I don't see why it's any different than it is now. You're because right. The media in, never puts the narrative out. No, I'm saying. Or they never put the correct. Well, they put they out. put out whatever they get in sometimes. Right. I don't know, but I don't see how them saying they've aired. If that's what you're saying, they aired in saying that he was out mm-hmm. jogging. Yeah, that's what went, the whole all the channels went. With. Well, I'm saying, how did you feel that they're in error because of they did that? I think so. If you don't Why? have, you could put out the story and say, you know, a unfortunate incident, whatever the case may be, and then gather more information. But they well, put that's out, what they did. They put out a certain narrative. Well, that's what all the information that they had at the time. Right. So somebody okay, so told them that, and they so you went want to wait? That. 
Okay, so I mean, maybe they vented it. Maybe it was their. Did his, you say? Did you say I want to wait? No, maybe should they wait? Yes, especially if the videos from February at this point. Wait, how do they know there's a video that exists? Wait I, for what? I get what you're saying, but this. Why incident, would they wait if they don't know if any video? We just go to somebody comes, something happens, then we can. Oh, the we point, are gonna wait to see if there's the a video point, that comes the out. Point, we both agree. We're, we both totally agree that number one. This is this shouldn't have happened, and this is a tragedy. We both agree on that. The ending conclusion we totally agree on. Okay. What I'm questioning is what I'm saying is the point of journalism is gathering all the information and all the facts you can gather well, before so, you report on a no, story. That's not journalism. That's not what is it? I think that journal, journalism is sort of like science because the people. Well, unlike science, some science, some science is done by the sci- or reported by the scientists actually doing the experiment. Mm-hmm. What I mean is by science is, is sci- like science is because things change as you develop right. things. Okay, so what happened is is that whomever told him, and I'm not the journalist, but I'm just saying, say if the thing came into me, mm-hmm. the man was jogging. So who am I going to ask what he does every day? Probably the people in his house. So if the people in his household say. Yes, he usually jogs. Okay, so does he jog this route? Yes, this is the way he usually goes. If I can find somebody who, to, who knows if he jogs that route regularly. Or right, but you have to find people to corroborate that story. Right, so right. it would be his family. and I may knock on a few doors to see if they've seen him before in the neighborhood or whatever mm-hmm. they have. Okay, then he usually jogs. He was out for a jog. That's what I know now. Mm-hmm. So later it comes out, we don't know about any videos. So we, if, if if I reported that he was on a jog and this happened, which was is, it, it seemed to me to be credible, mm-hmm. then when the other tape comes out, I say, okay, well, he must have stopped somewhere. Mm-hmm. But that doesn't change the fact that he was out for a jog. That doesn't change anything because people who are out in neighborhoods who see abandoned or under these constructions normally go in there. The guy who was the guy who was on, on people who see constructions normally go in there. Yeah, that's, it's a common occurrence. I'm not saying normally that everyone does it, mm. but I'm saying that some people who, who see a new thing coming up go walk in there and go in there and see what's going on. Hmm. That's not that's not nothing. That doesn't mean he was doing anything wrong. So he just had vested vested interest in this dwelling. I, how we mean vested interest? I to go no. to to stop. If that's not jogging. vested. Vested means that he either is a part of the construction or he owns the property or whatever. Okay. Stop that bullshit. Okay, he had curiosity and an heightened no, curiosity. No, you still. I don't know. If he stopped, obviously something was about that dwelling to go in it. He went in it, so well, something. Or he could just chose to go to. I can just, I can go that far. So he went in there. It's, he didn't do anything wrong. Was it a different route that day that he? Did? I don't know. He's dead. And that's what I'm saying. This is why I'm saying they should have got more facts. How could they? Have? Other than. Him, them asking, does he jog? Yes, he jogged. I don't know if they went in the neighborhood to see if there's some people that saw him. So, so if that's the case, then, like I said, he we should have reported shit. Oh well, I mean, if the, I don't know, I don't, I don't, I don't see anything wrong with the reporting so far. I just wondering why they seem to be concentrating on if he was doing something wrong. Because even 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 if they were making a citizen I think arrest, my, I think my vested gain was correct too when I said it. Okay, why? Wow. I just looked up the definition. What is it? A personal stake or involvement in an undertaking or state of affairs. Okay, so what? Hold on. Especially one with an ex- expectation of financial gain. So he had that by, that's why he stopped. He could have. Not saying oh that this, God. hold on, listen, listen. From the point of, this, listen, listen to what I'm saying. Listen, listen to what I'm, no, listen, okay. hear me out. Okay. If, I'm not saying this is what he was doing. So I don't want people to say this is what Cuzzo said. So I'm going to say it slow. <laughs> What I'm saying is, a person, if they go to a house, let's just say I go to a house, and I'm going to rob the house, so I'm scoping out the house, I have a vested interest in it. That's not what the words you were using, because vested in interest in that way means legal, not illegal. That's why the word burglary you use. Right. But, so you don't have a vested but can, interest. But it's a vested interest. No, if I can, if no, I'm brother. robbing the place, no, that's brother. a financial gain. No, I'm telling you. That's I'm legal. Like, <laughs> <laughs> Stop it. It could be illegal too. 
No, no, brother. A financial gain. If I, if I, if I, no. If I go in somebody's no. house, if I know somebody has, a then state. you are a burglar. <laughs> a burglar is there for the interest of financial gain illegally. A person who is vested is not interested in stealing anything from the property. The person who's vested it's is a financial a gain. Person, to steal. A person who's vested in interest in financial gain has either bought the property or sold the property That's to the construction, or that is a legal vested. If I know you got a hundred thousand dollars here, mm-hmm. and I know that for a fact, mm-hmm. and I'm outside basket up to rob you, then, then you I have a vested no, interest. No, because you because you have no ownership <laughs> of the money. Have, I don't need it. That's what a vested means. Vested means legal. I will. It doesn't say Other, legal here. I'm looking at the definition. All right. Well, if you can use it that way. If it comes into my possession because I'm robbing you, you it's a financial gain. Okay, if you want to use it that way, fine. I'm not going (laughs) to argue with you. I'm going to look up another one. Yeah. So, especially one with an expectation of a financial gain. So, if I know you have $100,000 here and I'm going to rob you, but you don't know. I'm expecting you don't to get know. this hundred grand. But you don't know that. You think that or somebody's told you that. You've never... I've gotten information. That doesn't yet. mean it's true. It doesn't, but okay, it's then. the expectation of a financial gain. I'm thinking I'm going to come out with something. If that's how you see it. That's how I see it. Okay. <laughs> tomato, tomato. No. We're both right. No. You just said it's illegal, and I can say someone can have a vested interest illegally. Then that wouldn't be vested. I could have a vested interest if I invest in a casino. With vested, the, vest, the word vested means is that you legally, and what I mean legally is that that you you you've either invested your money, mm-hmm. put your time in, mm-hmm. or something like that. That's the word vested. That's what the word vested means. Okay, but vested still- has no, vested has nothing to do with you getting a tip. And you're a burglar or a robber, and you go get the thing. It That's does. not best to know. Because you can look at the same point. You just said that. I'm, I'm gonna I'm gonna bring a, a good uh, example to your point. Okay. Mobsters that helped start the casinos in Vegas, if they started it with illegal money that was laundered through the casino, that's a vested interest. That is a vested interest. It's illegal. No, it's not. It's illegal. <laughs> it's but but the but the but the, but the point is, is not the illegality in in them invest in money laundering. That's still illegal. Right. They laundering the money. That part's illegal. But they that's still their money. That's still the money they've given to the casino to build up the casino. So they have an expectation to get their money back. That's being vested. But if the money's made illegally, the money's not being made illegally from the casino. The money is the only the money's invested is legal as money laundering. They still have a vested if interest. If the mobster makes his money a certain way and gives it to the casino, that's illegal. Correct. That's money laundering. Yeah. Right. So the casino that's actively moder- uh, money laundering. If that's they illegal. Act illegal, that's illegal too. Right. So that's what I'm saying. So mm-hmm. a mobster could have a vested interest. So a criminal can. No, have a that interest. not from the outside. A person standing on the corner who's th- who's going to go in and rob somebody. That's not a vested interest. That's still a vested interest. No, it is not. Yes. Okay. If I say if I say no, I know for a fact there's a place we can hit a lick. It's ten grand guaranteed. Right. But you that's didn't, a vested interest. No, it's not. Not using the word vested. It's not. I'm trying to tell you. <laughs> I'm, I'm reading the definition. Okay. That's how you read it. I keep saying, okay. If that's how you believe it, I'm, I don't have any problem with you believing it. I'm naming it. this episode v- Vested Interest. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> this is a good debate, though, because I think, no, we're, I think we're both right. I think you just don't want to admit that a criminal could have a vested no. interest in something. Uh, you just you just show where a criminal can have a vested right. interest. But an everyday criminal can, too. No, because that's not what vested means. <sighs> vested means that you don't spot a, a bank to rob. Oh, you're going to go rob a bank. Now you have a vested interest in the bank. Stop it, man. Let's see. Oh. <laughs> Uh-oh. You ready? Here's another definition. It says the law says. What's the word for the word? The definition it's for vested word. interest. Okay. It's it's the second. Okay. It, it's another definition that says a person or group having a personal stake or involvement. Mm-hmm. Another definition after that, an interest usually in land or money held in trust, mm-hmm. recognized as belonging to a particular person. Mm-hmm. So if I'm going to rob you because I know, <laughs> no, that's not, 
That's what it, it means. It has to be your money before that you give it. Doesn't necessarily say that. Yes, you're taking you're taking particular words out of the definition and trying to form a definition from that particular word. <laughs> no, Stop it. Yes, you. I'm Pers- not, personal. I'm, oh, I'm personal. personal. Don't just, He's personal. Don't just, <laughs> in all due respect, I'm sitting here smoking. I'm not that smart right now. <laughs> so you just made me smarter no, than dude. what I am. That's exactly what you're trying to do. <laughs> I'm doing all this flipping the flip, flip, flip. No, no I just say it's not flipping. You're taking the words out of the, the the definition to to make another to make it fit the definition that you wanted to fit. I think it fits the definition. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> do we have anything else? We just talked about vested interests. I'm done. You did that. <laughs> Because I think I'm accurate. <laughs> okay. If you, if you, I think I'm accurate. Okay. If you know. Vested interest. That's All what right. I'm calling this episode. This episode's called Vested Interest, y'all. Mm-hmm. I like that. Okay. We'll let the people decide who they think is right and who's wrong. Okay. If a bum goes and robs cars in Fairview, he has a vested interest in that cars. No, he doesn't. Because he's going to get a personal or financial gain. That's what I'm saying. You're choosing words out of the, the definition to fit what you're trying to say. But Am I? The definition of vested doesn't mean that a person who has no interest in it, who comes to rob it, now has interest in it. That's ridiculous. That's ridiculous. Yes. Let's very. Look. Let's look up vested. You just did. I thought that's what you were looking up. I'm looking up. up vested, the word itself definition. What were you just looking up before? Vested interest together. So it's used as an adjective. Now you look okay. All right. Look it up, Let's brother. See. That's not vested. It says that it's it says it as an adjective. Secured in the position of or assigned to a person. Yeah. That's what I'm saying. So in the word vested means that you have something you're not standing out from the outside. Trying to burglarize, it means that you already are on in the inside. So the word "vested" is not the right word to use for from for a burglar or robber. The burglar, a burglar or a robber, is the right word when it's illegal. That's what I was trying to tell you, but you don't believe what I said. It says of a person legally entitled to a future benefit as legal. So, like I said, legally. I tried to tell you. But like I said, a, a, a mobster could still have a vested interest. He would, even if the money's illegal, he still would legally, if the contract, if he invested the legal money, he still would legally be 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 be, be have a vested interest if he gave his money, his or her money. Even though it's illegal. Even though it's illegal. Mm, it's debatable. Okay. Because he's illegal from the jump. So how he would he is. How, he's, he definitely can go to jail for doing it. Right. But he has a vested interest. He does. <laughs> So we just we just came around in circles. No, no, here. because a person standing on the outside has given nothing. Just because you decide to rob a place doesn't then mean you have a vested interest in the in the store, or the bank that you that you that you uh, 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 that you're going to rob. The only interest you have is being a burglar or if a I, robber. If I drop ten dollars in a liquor store mm-hmm. and I believe my ten dollars is still there a week later, and I go back and rob it, I have a vested interest. No. If I think that place, no. is, I don't. No. Why? The because you just lost the... T- no, no. That's not what vested <laughs> means. That means you lost $10 in the store. <laughs> you stupid. You are so silly. <laughs> you know I'm going to keep trying to throw scenarios. Are you okay? <laughs> You've been doing it since I said it. Vest is not the right word. You- well, let me look it up. Uh, I do think I was right with vested. No, I think uh, you're not right with we're using the word vested. You're not. <laughs> I'm done. Are we done? <laughs> I'm ready to go. Oh, I'm gonna go run so, me some errands. You're so silly. That's funny. Vested interest. Are, I'm, okay. Are you? You got anything else? I don't got nothing else. We you sure? There's got to be something else. Yeah, yeah. we over an hour. All right. Yeah. You dig? We out. We out.